Hi everyone. Well, today is the video in which I want to go over exactly the equipment that I'm going to be using for the upcoming shootout of the MSB DAC against the DCS Rossini with the external clock. But before I do that, please subscribe, hit the like button, okay, so that we can continue to do this. Let me show you what will be the components that you will be hearing on the upcoming shootout, which I believe it will be probably happening towards the end of this week. Um, and I am planning to do either three or four videos. Okay. And to be clear, as far as how each video will be laid out, it's pretty simple. Each video will showcase both DACs, which you will not be able to see or know what's playing. It will be strictly a video showing two songs by one DAC, and I'm going to call that demo number one, and then followed immediately on that same video by the same two songs with the other DAC, and I'll call that demonstration number two. Okay, I will do anywhere from three to five videos. I do not know how long I'll do, um, how many videos I'll put out, but that's my intention. Out of a bare minimum of three videos, you guys will vote on the poll that I already explained on one of my last videos how to find and locate the poll system. It is very important that you guys vote because that way you guys give me an understanding of what you are preferring with this Wilson Audio XLF. OK, um, if you leave comments, that's fine. But do please understand that the, the votes, the voting system is really going to be more or less a better representation for me of how you guys feel about the about what's happening. OK, I can't count your comments. I am not about to embark on that. If you do not vote, your comment does not even matter, unfortunately, because that voting is the only way that I will know how the entire world feels about these presentations. OK, so please, once again, vote on the poll system. It's very important and grab headphones, play the music through your rig, stream it however you can. All I'm asking you is do not use your mobile devices and put those on speaker and pretend that you know exactly what's happening you do not know what's happening when you do that i promise you you're not gonna grab every single nuance you're not gonna capture every minute detail that's happening remember we are comparing two of the best DACs out there okay and yes it is going to be um, an extremely tough decision for some of you guys uh, as it is for myself same way it's not an easy easy thing to really pick out um but um we got to do what we got to do right and this is what my channel is about so let's go over what we will what i will be playing okay first up yes griffin essence that will be the amplifier front and center griffin essence stereo amplifier under the critical mass platform or filter okay speakers wilson audio xlf under still point ultra fives okay those are the footers that you see there they are perfectly level in case you're wondering they are ex very well level both of them are very well level okay so they're not crooked or tilted or however you want to say it they are not they're perfectly set up okay um cabling courtesy of synergistic research galileo sx on both speakers lifted off the floor or the carpet okay the speaker cables interconnects as you can see same thing galileo interconnects from the amp to the preamp and from the preamp to the DAC. Okay. Right now I have the MSB DAC, but when I replace it with the DCS, I'll remove the entire DAC out of the way and I'll place the DCS 
on that same spot in order to keep things 100% consistent. Preamplifier, Pandora, Griffin Pandora. Okay, the Pandora is going to be using AudioQuest Dragon, two of them, connected into the Shunyata Everest. As you can see, transparency, they're connected right there. All right, the two black, th that top one is the Hurricane. That's not being part of the formula here. All right, so AudioQuest Dragon, Amplifier, AudioQuest Dragon. Okay, AudioQuest Dragon, straight into the wall, all the way to the wall. Okay. Great. Let's go over the DAC. I'm not going to let you know what that is. That's the MSB. DAC will be using, I decided to settle on synergistic research. Two synergistic research power cords right there. Galileo SX power cords connected into the Shinyata Everest. One to either side. All right. So now you have an idea of what's going on. Music server, Orender W20SE. USB cables, courtesy of Shunyara Omega. You see it right there. This is the Omega, top of the line USB cable. Okay. We move on to power conditioners. Again, Shinyara Everest with the Omega, Omega, optional Omega power cord, which comes with these cable lifters from Shinyara. Okay, Omega XC power cord on both. Let's move on to the other side. When it comes to cabling for the okay let me see if you guys can see maybe you can maybe you cannot i want to just make sure i can pull it all out for you all you see it right there see it ethernet galileo synergistic research and I'm using this device. That device is going to be helping me with the cleansing or filtering of the incoming Ethernet uh, signal. So that this is the power device. And this would be, you guys have seen it on the videos. There you go, okay? That's being part of the game as well. All right, what else? Um, grounding. Grounded all the cables on the XLRs, grounded on a synergistic research ground block grounded okay to lower the floor noise amplifier grounded right there grounded grounded on the shunyara okay you can ground it on there now they have binding posts for shunyara what else am i missing um of course you guys know acoustic panels by viacoustics on both sides and uh let me see you might have it hold on as well as the back the wall behind okay it's all treated in case you're wondering right there same thing with the roof so we have panels there is enough here to get the best presentation possible okay i think i've done a pretty good job guys at trying to get you guys 
the most consistent exercise or experimentation, if you will, that you can get through YouTube. Now, of course, we know audio is very subje subjective. We know it's a matter of opinion as far as what sounds good or bad. Now, the one thing I will say to you guys, and this is something that I need to be very vocal about. One of the things that I really, really hate is basically people who simply love to choose brands instead of the sound they prefer. There has been a lot of talk about that constantly. I have had people who have loved the XLF when I first posted videos about it without letting you guys know what it was. A lot of people were loving it. A lot of people were just enamored by the new change in the presentation coming from the Magical M6. But as soon as I mentioned and I released, you know, unveiled the speaker, it was a Wilson Audio XLF. Now I'm getting a lot of criticism for it. Let me just say something and I want to be very clear. It's the same situation with the DCS and MSB that could potentially occur if I went out there right now and I simply did the shootout and telling you guys what DAC was playing. A lot of you guys are going to be biased if I do that. That is not the exercise that this is about. That is simply what I do not want to embark on. I want to embark on votes a voting system, I want you guys to vote based on what you're hearing, not choosing your favorite ice cream, ice cream flavor because of the color that it is. It doesn't matter to me what color it is. I want to hear it and then pick my winner with this system that I have put together. Many, many people love to criticize other brands and attack other brands and bash other brands and dishonor other brands. And let me just say this very clearly. I'm not about that. I'm not doing that. I'm not about bashing brands. I'm not about throwing anything under the bus because I do believe that the reason we have to be very thankful actually at the fact that we can choose so many different flavors and we are blessed to have the opportunity to own different kinds of components. Some countries out there don't have access to any of this. People that could potentially afford it can't, get, can't even get it there because of the import tax, because of all the taxes, because of the massive amount of, of money, the investment that it would take to bring some of these components into their homeland. So let's be thankful that we have the opportunity to try this here in the United States. I do not want this to be about bashing each other or you know attacking each other or anything like that i want it to be simply very very friendly and a very great open discussion about what we're hearing in the room what you guys can pick up through youtube right and then cooperate and then talk about it and then let's have a round table if you want me i'm willing to do that let's let me hear your thoughts give me that feedback but what i don't want is for you guys to Vote one way, and as soon as you find, find out that you voted for the brand that you hate, that you go ahead and take your vote back and then vote for the brand that you love or stand behind. Remember, none of these brands pay your bills. None of these brands send you a check in the mail. None of these brands give you anything for free, and they shouldn't. So why should you be more biased towards a particular product? Go for what sounds best to your years. Forget about the brand. Forget about what it is. That's my, my advice to you guys. A friendly advice. Yes, of course, you can come out and criticize me. Well, Jay, if that was the case, why do you have Wilson's? Well, I mean, I can answer that really, really with pure honesty here and tell you that the reason for that is if I were to embark on bringing obscure brands that unfortunately don't have much traction in the United States of America, nobody's going to buy them from me when I'm done with them. And guess what? I got to think about the future here with this channel. So if I embark on bringing things that are not well known, what am I going to do with them when I'm done? Send them to Goodwill, donate them, give them to charity. What am I going to do with them? 
So this is the reason why I, I have to handpick my components. Yes, I would love to bring other things uh, to the table, but I am open. Guys, if you know any manufacturers right now that are willing to probably hear me out, if you know of any manufacturer that could potentially send me something that you believe in, reach out to them. Send me an email. You know where my email is. It's always in the description, always in the description below. So I am open. I'm open to trying anything that you guys want me to try. But if you have a way of facilitating these things to me, I am all ears, guys. And I'm going to give every component a fair shot without being biased. You have my word. Okay. And anyway, that's all I got for today. Be on the lookout for these videos. They are going to be a lot of fun, guys. I promise you. I promise you, you guys are going to enjoy them. I really hope that healthy conversations come out of this. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe. Take care now.